For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another update video for you guys today. EA just released their November 2nd uh, update. This is probably going to be the only gameplay update for the entire month. They just put out a huge one last month, October 4th. And that one was probably the biggest update I've seen when it comes to Madden, uh, in any Madden game. Uh, this one's not quite as big, but there's still a lot of really important changes that I'm going to go over, including one that's probably the most uh, commented, or, the, or at least the issue that the most people are having when it comes to drop balls, which I'll discuss in a minute. But before I do, if you guys want me to continue to do this series of videos, I typically do at least a player ratings update every single week, but every time there's a gameplay update, I like to make a video about that. So if you guys want me to continue that, as always, please make sure to be subscribed hit the like button let me know in the comment section and other than that's going to get right into what they changed i'm going to start off with uh probably the most important which to me is going to be gameplay the majority of the gameplay changes in in this update all have to do with dropped uh catches whether it's on offense or defense now I'll start off with the first thing here that they say that uh, basically i'm guessing a lot of people were dropping interceptions i know a lot of people that are playing that i was playing against uh between october 4th and now uh, I noticed a lot of dropped passes, but I didn't have that issue personally. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, the best way to catch the ball without any drops, regardless of how the game is uh, responding, is you want to make sure you just tap the catch button, no matter what type of catch style you're doing. If you tap it repeatedly, you will I guarantee you won't drop a pass, offense or defense, because that's all I've ever done uh, since, you know, within the last couple years since they, they patched uh, holding the button down, which used to be the way to go. Uh, but if you tap the button repeatedly, whatever the catch button is, whether it's a rack catch, uh, whether it's an interception by tapping wire triangle, all that stuff, you will remove any penalties by tapping it over and over, and you won't have any issues when it comes to drop balls. But they did try to address this. One of the ways that they try to address it on defense is they lowered, they tuned it to lower the ratings threshold for catching interceptions on a competitive game style to, to basically try to decrease the number of dropped interceptions. So they did know it was an issue, um, and there's actually an issue that they caused, which I'll get here in a minute when it comes to offensive players dropping uh, catches. But it says this applies to open catches, which means that since physical contact with a player or the ball can still knock or cause a, uh, cause a knockout. So basically what they're saying is, um, if you're if you're you know trying to high point it and the receiver's right there, you know I mean it's going to cause knockouts more than than either player really getting the interception, which I do agree with, because that's one of the best ways to defend the uh, pass is by just trying to go up and high point it with the receiver at the same time. You'll typically get a knockout animation. So they didn't really uh, change that. But open field interceptions, if you if you're jumping in front of a receiver two yards in front of a receiver, you shouldn't have as many drops. So that's definitely something that's going to be a positive fix. Now, switching to the offensive side, I know a lot of people are having trouble dropping balls on the offensive side. It says, fix an issue causing undesired catch drops. I don't know what an undesired catch drop is, by the way. Uh, undesired, is, is there ever a time where you desire your receiver to drop a ball? What does undesired catch drops mean? But anyway, it says, fix an issue causing undesired catch drops when the quarterback would get hit during or shortly after throwing the ball. So basically, there's a huge explanation to this one, which, like I said, I didn't notice any problems, but apparently in the last patch, actually, it wasn't even in the October patch, it was in the September title update, they said that they, they, they did patch something where um, when a quarterback would throw out a sack, and I remember reporting this, but when you get a throw out a sack animation, they, they added something to decrease the penalty or decrease the chances that a defensive lineman or a blitzing linebacker or whoever would catch the ball. Like if it barely left the quarterback's hands, a lot of times a defensive lineman or a defensive player would catch the ball and it would be kind of a BS interception. Well, I never, I honestly didn't really have that issue either, but they added something in the game that had the undesired effect where it would also make it that, you know, if you hit a quarterback and um, the, you get the throw away to a receiver, the receiver wouldn't be able to catch it either. So basically when they added that patch, and I say this all the time, whenever EA fixes something, they break something else. Well, this is one of the few times they actually admitted it because they're basically saying that when they added that uh, function, that it would make it harder for the defensive players to catch the ball off of a throw out a sack animation. It also had the undesired effect where now receivers were dropping passes. So what they did was they reverted to the old style. They took that out of the game. So whatever they added, they took it right back out in the hopes that it would basically make it to the point where receivers would go back to catching the ball. A lot of small issues. 
Um, they did increase the size of the passing accuracy meter, which I think is probably a good thing because uh, whenever you try to throw like a lob pass, which isn't even called a lob pass anymore, it's more like a touch pass, um, you don't have as much time to really, uh, you know, because you have to tap the button and, and let it go pretty quickly. You don't really have a lot of time to, um, you know, to, to, to leave the passing uh, radical circle with the um, with you know by holding the left trigger of the L2 button whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation and that really kind of had a lot of underthrown balls I'm hoping that that's game that's geared towards that because that was probably the biggest issue when it comes to the passing accuracy meter but it does have some defensive fixes um, I, they need to fix the, uh, the big nickel over G there is an issue here they said that in a certain 3-4 odd play the SS trap 2 uh, there was an alignment issue where uh, the curl flat defender um, was aligned to the wrong side of the field against empty sets, which is a small issue. It says fix an issue causing safeties and cornerbacks to have flipped assignments when co when covering offensive formations with three tight ends. Like I said, there's a lot of little issues like that. I'm not going to necessarily go over every single thing that they mentioned here, but I do know that the big nickel over G has had an issue similar, and I wish they would fix that because I know that's becoming a popular defense since I made a video about it and other people may have made videos about it. And it's definitely one of the better defenses, but there's certain things you can't do without messing up uh, the defensive alignment pre-snap when it comes to the zone coverages and stuff like that. So that would be nice to see them fix in a future video. Uh, it says, fix an issue allowing the ball carrier to have no fumble chance when diving. After this fix, ball carriers will have a higher risk of fumbling when diving into traffic. Now, that's something that um, I'm hoping it doesn't make that an automatic fumble because you already kind of have that when it comes to uh, hurdling. If you try to hurdle over a defender, it, it significantly increases the chances of a fumble, which I don't necessarily disagree with. But, uh, you know, I mean, there's, there's I, I guess diving definitely does in real life make it more realistic that you're going to fumble. So I guess I don't really have an issue with that, but just be aware of that. I don't typically dive like that anyway. I might dive around the goal line, but it sounds like I know in the past, the, to me, the goal line always raises the chances of fumbling too. So, you know, this is just something you have to be aware of. Don't, don't go diving into the goal line into a crowd without expecting a fumble because that sounds like that's going to happen now. Now, they also did something to fix pass protection a little bit. Um, if you're in an empty formation, a lot of times check and release guys don't even bother to block uh, first, which is typically what they're supposed to do. A check and release means you're supposed to, you know, if there's, a, if there's a free blitzer, they're supposed to engage and then release into the flat, giving the quarterback a little bit of time to uh, make a decision. Well, apparently he wasn't really doing that. Now, the next thing I want to go over is CFM, but there was some important information first that I have to go over where they added uh, a new stadium. They added a, a Deutsche Bank Park in Frankfurt, Germany to support the uh, Frankfurt games. So one of the first and biggest updates when it comes to um, to actual CFM is that NFL games scheduled in Germany will now be played in the new park. So that's why I had to go down and, and, and add that first. But there is a new park called Deutsche Bank Park, which is the German the, the field they play on in Germany, I guess. Or I'm not really sure. I, I, they, they haven't played a game in Germany, I don't think, yet. Uh, that might be the first one might be coming up here. It might be the Dolphins and the, the, the Chiefs, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But either way, there is a new uh, stadium in the game. So make sure to check that out. Other than that, there's not really a lot here. I mean, there's a small issue where uh, the weekly strategy selection would reset to default after completing a minigame with a focus player. Um, but there's just a lot of small stuff here. Rare crashes and small, you know, nothing too important when it comes to franchise mode after that. Uh, Madden Ultimate Team, there was probably a lot more put in here. The majority of the Mutt Ultimate Team ones are all around things like um, either, you know, just random errors that you get from navigating the, uh, the Mutt screens to uh, improving loading times in and out of objective screens, which is probably the two biggest issues. Uh, you get a lot of random error messages when it comes to uh, to MUT over the years, and this one here is really something they're just trying to, to, to patch a lot of those bugs. But for the most part, there's not a really a lot of changes when it comes to Ultimate Team. And that's pretty much what they've done with uh, Superstar as well, where it just seems to be one of the biggest, um, and they have a dev note here saying so, that's one of the biggest focal points is that they're really trying to prioritize prioritize um, the uh, UI transitions in some of the uh, higher traffic areas and things like uh, MUD, Ultimate Team, Superstar, and Franchise Mode. So hopefully you'll notice a quicker experience when you're going in and out of screens, which I know is it can be one of the bigger issues, especially when it comes to MUD and uh, the marketplace and stuff like that. So that's really one of the uh, some of the larger 
um, parts of the patches. They're really just trying to make sure the game's running faster and smoother. After that, they've added some signature celebrations for touchdowns, things like Randy Moss's, DJ Chark's. Uh, they also uh, changed uh, some, you know, they added some new face scans, one of which I don't necessarily understand. It says that Chris Jones, they added, or up, I don't know if, they, if Chris Jones from the, from the Chiefs never had a proper face scan, but he's been in the game for a long time. Sha Shaq Leonard, same way, from the Colts. It's really, I find it hard to believe these guys didn't have a face scan in the game. Uh, but one, some of the more notable players is guys like Sam Howell, who looks like he's going to be around for a while. He's definitely a good player. Uh, Devon A-Chain, or A-Chan, I'm not really sure how you say his name. Uh, I know a lot of people struggle with that. But uh, for the Dolphins, I mean, the guy, you know, whenever he comes back, he's going to be a, he obviously has a bright future. Isaiah Pacheco, uh, obviously another good player for the Chiefs. Uh, Trent Simpson, the uh, the Ravens middle linebacker, and Cam Smith for the Dolphins all got face scans. And they also updated A.J. Brown's hair, which they went out of, out of their way to say. They'll probably update his rating tonight as well uh, if I do a video either later tonight or tomorrow about the player ratings update because that's going to come next. But that's pretty much it. There's not a lot of huge... Uh, updates after they tried to attempt to fix the uh, the catching that's probably the biggest one to take away from this video so if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section and i'll make sure to keep bringing it to you guys other than that thanks for watching man my shit out Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.